Yeah. Zone 3 Podcast. We are at ISMRT, and I have Greg here with MRI Comp, a part of Meditech MRI. Oh, I'm sorry, Meditech Park. So, Gregor, we're excited to talk to you about some of the exceptional stuff that you guys are doing with, you know, you know, compatibility testing and right. MRI conditional, you know, um, configuration. So, yeah, yes. elaborate. Let us know, you know, what you got, guys. Yeah, thank, have. thank you very much for stepping by here um, <laughs> and uh, so that we can uh, tell you something about um, the Meditech Park. Yeah. So we are set up since 18 years for implant and device testing, and uh, we're doing um, medical implant testing, accessories testing, and also going over to the MR user side. Also having together with uh, MRI Tech, um, our partner, also ferro detection systems, yes. the image quality phantom that we developed from our research institute, MRI Star. Awesome. And that delivers uh, very fast image quality testing within 10 minutes. So you can check it every day on the scanner oh, nice. or of your scanner population at the, the organization. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Tested, yeah. like, is there some sort of uh, protocol that you guys kind of go with? Yes, exactly. So we have uh, the passive um, implants and yeah. the active implants. And uh, I would say, so we have about uh, four to five test methods for the passive implants. And because the active implants and systems are also using a lot of RF and DB3T interaction, right. we have another seven test methods that we go through. And that's a lot. So um, testing an active implant is between half a million or one million uh, euros or US dollars oh, wow. and can also vary depending on the difficulty level. Right. And now are you doing like human testing? Is it simulation or is it like a step by step or maybe you start with simulation? We uh, do simulations also for the passive devices mm -hmm. because the computer simulation as you can see over here oh, is yeah. very important to uh, detect the hotspots, the heat map. Yeah, yeah. To, do, to do also um, a worst case analysis. Right. And therefore we, we use um, actually those test systems to calculate um, with um, artificial uh, birdcage coils, so right. the hotspots, and do a, a full analysis up to the human model. Oh, that's awesome. And, and then the validation of the experiments is done. And in, in this respect also, um, we go with our tier 2.5 method from the in vitro situation to the in vivo situation. And that is what you guys, MRI tech needs. Right. To have the real labeling that is not phantom testing, that is human model. Exactly. SAR and B1 plus RMS labeling. Right. And that is the full chain that we need to develop. Oh, that's awesome. And so all the devices that you guys have tested is, is accessible on the internet on your website? Like where can people actually get access mm -hmm. to the testing and the compatibility? So first of all, we are um, testing for the implant manufacturers oh, and okay. they decide what to do with the labeling for product approval. Okay. But we're also working together with Mac Resource from US and it's a long-term partner with uh, Gary and Jen Gardner. Right. And they have uh, multiple devices on the list. So um, they have uh, over 12,000 implant MR conditional and MR safe label listed. Right. And also tell you about the documents, the standards, which kind of ASTM tests have been performed. And that is a database where you find the original labeling. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. So literally, it's one of those search features where you just search what you're looking for and it pops up. Yes. Yeah. Right. It's but a, you guys work directly with the manufacturer? I'm sorry. Yeah, we, we are working directly with the manufacturer and also Mac Resource is collecting the data um, for the and MR conditional labeling. Off. And the hospitals can for a little um, maintaining fee. So they have a little license uh, for the database to pay, but it's yeah, very, very uh, good because you spend, uh, you, you save a lot of time that you would spend on the internet for research. That's the thing. Time, and time is money if you know MRI, right? Like, right. Uh, we don't have a lot of time to be wasting looking up implants. And then one of the things that I found the most frustrating, well, and of course, MRI moves so fast, right? We're constantly updating stuff. So you can find like information for use for an implant that might be from 2006, but it might not be relevant to 2022. So it's good to get the most relevant information. And right. I'm so glad you guys are providing that for us. Now, I do have one question. This is one of my curiosities. Like what sure. is the hardest part about kind of working with manufacturers and doing the testing to get the information that you're looking for? So the, the hardest part is uh, to outline, especially the testing strategy. Exactly. Because um, such an implant has a lot of MR interactions and test methods have to be outlined. Right. And finding the worst case is not a simple thing. 
but we have a clear um, structure, uh, for example, looking for the e-tangential um, experience between the implant and um, the, the RF field. Right. Yeah, and in, in this respect, we have to find virtually to say we need to find the tip of the mountain of this worst case mountain. Right. And everything else is uh, then a better case if we found the tip. Right. Now, traditionally, if you test it on 3T, does that mean it still needs to be tested on 1.5? Not necessarily for all the interactions, so like force and torque, we are testing on a 3T only, and then it's clear for 1.5 Tesla. Oh, but for all RF clauses, uh, because of the frequency, we ah. have to think about uh, the, the, right. the frequency behind uh, the magnetic field strength, right. and that is different, of course. So that is uh, also having a different uh, wavelength, and therefore we need to test for those frequencies separately. Wow. Also low fields. Uh, which are coming up now with yeah. uh, that's another game changer yeah. right yeah lower yeah. than 1t systems and and that is also important that the mr conditional labels have been created and checked for those frequencies yeah, those then. have you guys done any open mri testing at all with the uh horizontal field i guess yeah we worked on on some in the past um it's uh, still and now becoming a very attractive field strength again right because of the the large wavelength is also very helpful for a uh, low sar and uh, uh, also the the wavelength coupling to lo long elongated implants um, but the the field the working horse is still the 1.5 t system in right. the market Cylindrical, the 3t right. systems Right. The 70 systems just around, maybe with a couple of uh, maybe 80, 100 now. Right. It's trying to get there, but who knows the 70 ever makes yes. it there. But but the low field is very interesting and also mainly spread out uh, in a lot of areas. Right. Very good. This is great. We appreciate all the work that you're doing for us, making our mm -hmm. job so much easier because MRI safety obviously is the hardest part of being an MRI tech. We, we want to help. We don't want to hurt. And we're glad that you're here to help us with that. There's more implants every day. I mean, at the point to where there is literally clothing that has metallic fibers in it, you know, magnetic eyelashes, things like yes. that, right? Yeah. So it's one of our challenges and the best thing that we can do is use the best resources that we have and you're providing that. So we thank we you, sir. We try to do a good job completing the, the full chain, the, the full, full process chain, and huh? maybe one day Whatever, the scanner maybe select uh, the sequence it itself and <laughs> I know, right? Maybe you're just automatic. controlling it. I know, right? <laughs> I'm a little nervous about that time because I like my job, but hey. Yeah, they, I, I think your job will I'll remain. Be, I'll be safe, right? <laughs> in spite of any AI, the, All right. but you will do the more sophisticated work then. All right, I can yeah. focus on more of the difficult tasks, right? Well, Gregor, again, thank you, sir. And this MRI podcast. Thank you as well for stepping by. Yeah, no, no problem. We're at Meditech Park, MRI Comp. You hear it here? Yeah, MRI safety questions, MRI safety solutions. Thank yeah. you for joining us. Get back to us if you have any question and for uh, sure. we are pleased to answer. Yeah, thank you. Perfect. Uh